Well, each year, hundreds of millions of dollars in taxpayer money is divvied up and then sent to communi communities, I should say, across South Carolina with zero public hearings, no input, and very little oversight, honestly. Governor Henry McMaster says that's unacceptable. State House reporter Mary Green explains his call to lawmakers to bring more transparency to how they spend your money. At the very least, I don't think that the public has confidence in this earmark. Procedure. More than $420 million. That's how much money will go out in the next year in earmarks. Individual projects sponsored by state lawmakers, typically back in their home communities. Governor Henry McMaster says many of them are worthy of receiving this funding, like local road improvements and nonprofits working to keep senior citizens from going hungry. For some of them, we have no idea of what it is that, that they're going to do. And we have no idea after they get the money if they ever did it. On Wednesday, McMaster vetoed a total of 21 items from this year's budget. Nine of them earmarks from members of both parties, totaling $2.3 million. In recent years, both the dollar and numerical amounts of budgetary vetoes the governor has issued have significantly dropped after he fought to bring more transparency to what had long been a secretive process of funding these projects. A few years ago, he started asking legislators to disclose which earmarks they sponsored, who the recipient was, and how the money would be spent. Information publicly disclosed for the first time, at risk of the project being vetoed if it wasn't provided. I think it's, it's come a long way. But McMaster believes it's still not transparent enough. He renewed his call Wednesday for the legislature to change the earmark request process, through which hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars are divvied up annually with no public hearings or open debate to a new grant based system. This has got to change. This is just not the way to spend the people's money. The chair of the Senate's budget writing committee says he'll listen to any suggestion of how to improve a process he admits can get out of hand. It's an issue we're going to have to visit and agree on. And as for those vetoes, lawmakers could vote to override them, but that would require the legislature coming back into session here in Columbia within the next few months, which leaders in the General Assembly have said they do not want to do, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Governor McMaster believes more follow-up work also needs to be done to ensure the money for these earmarks is being spent as intended. He says that could be accomplished if the legislature adopts his idea for a grant-based system.